hi everyone it's been four months since i last uploaded a video here and i'm back with a very simple tutorial for you guys to start with i'm just trimming her brows with the razor blade i always cut my razor blade into two just because that way I don't get to cut myself and I just love doing it that way. Next up I'll be using the classic lash glue to just thin her brows. This has really helped me because some brow thimmers don't work and on this particular day I didn't feel like battling with any brow thimmer. The lash glue just does the work for me and it stays in place. There's no how you put the lash glue on your brows and your brows won't stay. They would always stay down to start with today's skin work i'm going to be using the simple light moisturizer this moisturizer can be used on all skin types like if you have somebody with a dry skin combination skin normal skin oily skin this moisturizer is still so good for that The primer for today is this one by Huda Beauty. I'm always scared of grip primers or any primer that has this kind of jelly feeling but I absolutely love this one. This has made work so much easy for me. I do not like the milk primer. I don't know. It has never worked for me. My foundation is always peeling off when I use that primer. I don't know if I got a fake but this Huda Beauty one is so so nice. Like it applies super smoothly and then i just wait for it to get tacky before using my foundation foundation for today is by dior i've forgotten the two shades i used i'm going to be linking it or writing it down in my description box below at this point i had to light <laughs> so i had to put on the gen while the gen was being put on i was already blending the foundation because i just didn't want to allow her face stay like that and just look at how beautiful this finish is like it's glowy and it's like medium to light coverage not full I absolutely love the foundation next up is my Colourpop no filter concealer I've also forgotten what shade I used I'm going to be linking it down in the description box so I'm so sorry because I'm like editing uh, a week after I created this look, a week after I filmed this look, so I'm currently not with the products I used. Anyways, let's go back to blending. So this brush is the same as the one I used when I was blending in her foundation. It is by MSQ and their brushes are really really good. They are not as long as thin as the real Technique brushes but this actually works well. Then I switched over to my beauty blender. This one is by Dose of Glam. My beauty sponge, sorry. So this one is by Dose of Glam on Instagram. You can see I'm using this blender in its dry state, in its dry form. I didn't add any water, I didn't wet it, and it's blending real good. So I totally recommend you get one of these blenders, these beauty sponges, sorry. I then went in with my Colourpop concealer and we applied more to just those areas under her eyes and then on her nose. I went back in with the beauty sponge and then I just blended everything together. To set the highlighted areas, I used this translucent compact powder by Constance Beauty. Constance Beauty is a South African brand and they sent me some of their products I think a month or two ago. And I've been using this particular product for a while. I use this first to set under the eyes and other areas have highlighted before using my loose setting powder. And the product worked really well.
Well, today's loose setting powder, I'll be using this translucent one from Sephora. I read somewhere or I saw somewhere on IG where somebody compared this to um, the Laura Mercier one and I was like, okay, let me just get this one because Laura Mercier is so pricey now. And um, after everything, I would say that powder is okay, but not to Laura Mercier. Moving on, I'm using my Sephora compact powder in her shade to just set the other areas where I did not use my concealer, like the perimeter of her face and under her chin. Please don't forget to like this video, share and then subscribe. Thank you. I feel like I'm talking too much and I'm starting to kind of bore you guys. So I'll just not talk again and just allow you to enjoy this video. The processes are not new to you. I'm sure if you've all if you've watched my previous videos, you would see I'm doing almost the same steps but just different products. Been feeling trapped down on the floor. I don't know what for. Feels like I'm gonna lose. Silence takes a hold. Stormy seas, throw me in open water, let me have my peace and leave me till tomorrow. Wind into my sail, away from things I let go, floating on the waves. We go bottoms up, we go all the way. When you're feeling down, push the pain away. We go bottoms up.